Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss about an important concept of power generation system which is spinning reserve and its type like uh, cold reserve and hot reserves. So let us discuss. This is a very key topic which is talked about many times in a power plant but many people does not understand the core concept. So that is why I am creating a small video on this. So friends, I am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience and I create small fundamental videos on core key concept of power plant technologies. And uh, if you want to follow such content, please subscribe to this channel. And you can also ask your doubts and question in the comment section. I will try to reply to those questions as soon as possible. So friends, in this topic, we have taken a case of spinning reserve. So as the name suggests, reserve. So you can see we have taken example of 200 megawatt machine where it is right now running at 100 megawatt. So 100 megawatt is the uh, generation and 200 megawatt is the capacity. That means there is a 100 megawatt of uh, uh, spare capa capability available. So that is called reserve. So you have a 100 megawatt capability to supply whenever there is a requirement. Let's say this machine is running in a system, in a power system uh, where there are other generators also. And uh, let us assume a case where there is a shortfall or problem in other generator leading to shortfall of uh, some quantity of megawatt in the overall system. Uh, so that we can see from this chart, this plot. So uh, right now uh, at uh, steady state we can say the machine is running at this condition the frequency like this and then there is a if there is any tripping or any capacity reduction in one of the machine in the overall system then what will happen the demand is uh, fixed but the supply is reducing that will cause your frequency to drop your frequency may go little bit downwards then what the power uh, system owner will tell wherever there is a spare capacity please bring this capacity into the grid please pump extra power to maintain whatever power uh, we have lost so what will happen uh, let's say we have considered this case of 200 megawatt capacity machine so uh, the requirement will come to this kind of machine and this machine will be asked to increase the megawatt and that megawatt will support uh, the power system to increase the frequency so uh, the system will respond like this so this is how the reserves are used in maintaining the stability of power plant i have taken a very small example a very simple case to explain and this will uh, in actual real life this will be a very much complicated process and happening in a very short span of time and maybe some interesting some genders coming in and coming out so you can consider this as a basic case and based on that you can understand the complexity also and uh, uh, the reserve is only set to have available when the machine is running and supplying power into the grid that means this is uh, already synchronized you cannot uh, consider a machine who, which is running on FSNL and having a let's say capacity of 200 megawatt. So machine running on FSNL and with 200 megawatt surplus capac uh, power generation cannot be counted as a uh, spinning reserve because you need to first synchronize to the grid and then that power will be available. So that kind of power is called uh, your cold reserve sorry sorry hot reserve that kind of power is called hot reserve so you can synchronize that machine and uh, very fastly you can uh, uh, pump that power into the grid so this kind of uh, systems are generally available in gas based power plant or combined cycle power plant where you have a gtcc or gas turbine which has a very high ramp rate 
high ramp rate means uh, gtcc can go to 50 megawatt per minute also which is uh, not true in case of uh, cool base power plant so this kind of uh, mechanism are there to maintain the system or the power plant uh, power system stability hope you have understood if uh, you have any question you can ask me in comment section so to understand the concept of uh, spinning reserve and how it works in the uh, real plant situation we are considering a case of uh, three generators of capacity 40 megawatt each so three generators 40 40 40 uh, so let us consider the all three generators are connected to a system are connected to a system and are supplying a load to uh, maybe a residential or industrial setup so all are connected and supplying load to uh, uh, some sort of uh, let us consider there are two consumers uh, uh, this one is uh, let's say here 40 megawatt each and running at 30 megawatt current loading 30 megawatt and 30 megawatt and this is one consumer consumer and it is consuming around 60 megawatt and there is another consumer which is consuming 30 megawatt so whatever is your load is being consumed at the uh, consumer so demand and supply is matching and system is working in a stable way now let us calculate the spinning reserve so total capacity is 40 into 3 which is 120 megawatt and the demand is 90 so 90 megawatt so 30 megawatt is the reserve reserve capability available let us say a, there is a case when there is a sudden demand rise in this case so 10 megawatt condition we have assumed so 10 megawatt is there and if you have 30 megawatt of reserve so there will be no problem in increasing this 10 megawatt so you can have some 3 3 3 or 3 point something then you will be able to cattle this 90 plus 100 megawatt so 33.3 like that you will be able to uh, supply so uh, here your reserve is coming into line now let us assume there is a uh, some problem in this machine and this machine is out of service and uh, let us uh, remove this also so 90 megawatt is demand and you have two generators only available so what will happen the demand is demand is 90 and supply capability if you supply everything that is also 80 megawatt so what will happen your machines are running at 80 megawatt and supplying this that means there is a overloading of these machines which is not a safe condition so what may happen your machines may trip your machines may trip on any of the protection or any such condition then what will happen your overall system will collapse so there is another uh, possibility you reduce the load at some uh, 60 megawatt something you can reduce here or you can reduce here 
so this kind of management you can do and there is another possibility which is nowadays possible is a storage energy storage so which kind of so it could be a battery battery where you are storing it into the system and whenever there is a demand this goes as a supply and fit to your system whenever there is a supply and demand there is a match or supply is more it is the battery is running idle and sitting whenever there is a shortfall in demand then only it goes and supply to the system so this size of a system are nowadays becoming popular and but uh, uh, it is very uh, not a very high capacity kind of system but uh, this is also being uh, created nowadays and maybe in future this kind of battery storage will become more prominent solution in this kind of industry so this is a simple logic uh, which i try to explain in a very fundamental way however running plant problems are more complex uh, in nature because the time duration is very small so hope you have understood the core uh, of the concept and uh, if you have any question uh, any uh, detailed question certainly you can ask me in the comment section thank you please subscribe to my channel for uh, getting uh, tuned to the next video thank you very much thank you thank you